Hey guys, Heistmaster here, once again doing another GTA 5 video, which is not on a Tuesday, but that's fine. So, they released the Pegasi Toros, which I, it looks like a pretty nice car to me, but kind of weird. But, what do a 23rd century hypercar and a family friendly SUV have in common? More than you might think. They both turn into a lead footed tailgating psychopath the moment you touch the gas. And they both do roughly the same miles per gallon as burning oil well. With all that shared DNA, it was only a matter of time before someone left them in the dark showroom to see if they would breed. And the Tauros is the result. Well, hmm. What color should I change? Uh, I don't think it's red. I want a red one. It's four hundred ninety-eight thousand dollars, guys. So put that down there. My other car. And they also released um the game mode buzzer beater for Arena War. Buster, stop. Which is um. Where's the elevator? Like. It's a race to find checkpoints, and whoever finds the most checkpoints survives the longest, and whoever kinda doesn't kinda gets blown up. So, point is, get as many checkpoints, survive longer than everybody else, win. Don't find as many checkpoints as everybody else, you die. That's fun. It should maybe spawn down here. It's spawn over here. But I think there's something new with these cars or something that I did not know about before. I'm gonna kinda maybe check out now. If I can do it, hopefully. Okay, so yeah, here. Oh yeah, these, yeah, cars will do wheelies now. So I'm trying to check right here. Watch this, it's like... Oh yeah! Like, all it is just major wheel spin. All it is just major wheel spin. If I had a wheelie bar, it'd work better. I don't have a wheelie bar on. Nope. That's not what I want. Back up. Go back in. Well, beat one. And the car just arrived, so it's a good time to go back in and do it. And here is this little monster. I was a customizer in here, and then we'll go take it for a spin. Armor. Oh, heck yes. Alright. Oh, heck yes, too. Engine. Only the bad. For this car. Oh, lord. Okay, you got quads. You got titanium quads. Then you have aluminum quads. Then you have twin bar. Which is that on the other on both sides. Um. Yeah, the titanium aluminum. Okay, vector exhaust. That's cool. Just right in the middle of your, your bumper. That's different. Big bore. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go with the uh, vector exhaust. That's cool. Front bumper. Ooh, Pegasi diffuser. Ooh, street build. Carbon Pegasi street build. Grill. Car oh, chrome grill, ugly. Carbon grill, street grill, carbon grill, performance grill, carbon performance grill, roadster. Carbon. We're gonna carbon this thing right out. Like, that's, that's just not bad. We have carbon, they have a bevel hood. Ooh, performance hood, that actually is not bad. Mark 1 dispersion hood. Ooh. 
insanity. I'm liking actually this, the Mark II dispersion hood. Kind of. I don't do, I do this. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. I'm actually, I'm gonna keep it red. Keep the red style here. No, wrong one. Oh, that looks these. Wow. I'm liking. I'm liking the classic stripes. No, what, uh, what did I do? Like mud drive. Eh, might as well make it ready for off road too. Mm. Oh wow, that's black, black to be. Can go back to actually? Just like stone silver, that looks actually pretty good. To me at least. We have a little, little bit of a red in there, for a lesson. Secondary color. Oh, okay, so uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I'll leave that little straight there. Don't mind. Silver. Roof. Yeah, uh, that's better angle. Fourth roof, roof rack, vortex generator. I'm gonna turbo. I'm thinking of fourth roof fan. Ooh, skirts. Carbon rates. Even though to me it didn't look like it changed very much. Upper spoiler. Dang. Dang. I just wanna pick up what this is all about. I don't see it. Oh, okay. This may be the weirdest looking car in the whole world. Okay, person, stop spamming scene. Easy. Heels, heel guys. Hmm. High end. Won't stop. Actually, I'm thinking GT Chrome. They look very, very good on this car, actually. Get stone silver. You know, you can't really tell if it's stone to me. That's fine. Not one. For a tire tilt, window, limo. That's just the arena. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Aw. No wheelies for this thing, that's fine. You know, I thought I'd check just to see. Oh boy, this thing actually has not so bad of handling at all. Those things handling is actually amazing. Like, 
the customization often options are cool, I say. And with holy handling, hold on, I turn my lights. Oh dang! Get out of the way. Is it a drift machine? Nope, it's all wheel drive. Although, yeah, it's all wheel drive. <laughs> I think how it's all wheel drive for sure. So, it's not much of a drift machine, but it's fast, like, in a straight line. Interior view must show. Oh dang, that RPM is insane. Why is it so fast? Oh god, ow. Okay. Go back. Watch this pedometer. <laughs> 120, 140. Whee! Hello. I'm okay. But watch this pedometer. You asshole. Yes. Oh no. Like, 100 and. Almost 200? And if that's in mile per hour. Almost 200 in an SUV. That's, that's pretty amazing. Like, and this thing is called an S. Yeah, it's an SUV. But, like. On a scale of 1 to 10 for looks, I give it, like, an seven and a half out of ten for looks and for performance that's a solid ten out of ten right there the performance on this thing is amazing we'll take this thing back to the shop we'll put this thing away but yeah it's actually a great car. If you guys like speed and like some interesting customizations, I would get this car. Like, I totally, totally would. And this thing is fast. It's all heck, so. It's a good car. Okay. Wow. I want it into my garage. Thank you. But, yeah. I recommend this car to everyone that plays GTA. It's actually amazing. It's fast. It goes good in a straight line. Doesn't drift all too good, but that's fine. Need a picture. But yeah, we got that. Picture. Yeah, it's actually a really good car. I would actually recommend buying it, guys. So, but I think that's about it for me for this video, I believe. So, Heist Master, guys, signing out. Till next time.